is a Puerto Rican who is from Minnesota. Being in the Twin Cities, I know Minneapolis and St. Paul, and it's been the community that's raised me as the Puerto Rican girl. Because I wasn't Mexican, and when teachers thought that it was the same as being Mexican or Ecuadorian or Colombian or the holidays, you know, Maria, bring tacos to school. It'd be like, I don't make tacos, <laughs> but we make these, but you can, you know, ask homegirl over here to make tacos, and we'll all make together, and we'll all join as a feast and a family. So it was really breaking down the stereotype and also acknowledging those stereotypes that are that have pride within the stereotypes as well. Ay Dios mio, ay, ay Dios mio, ay, ay. So just a... Uh, I'm Puerto Rican. I have a pride of being from Minnesota just as much as anyone who's been here. I'm a Vikings fan. I'm a Twins fan. I, you know, I got to walk through New York when the, the Derek Jeter's getting his MVP award and Jay Z's singing with Alicia Keys, and I have a Jeter jersey on with a Twins hat on. You know, I'm like, I have pride from being from the state. It's raised me. It's taught me to keep my values and not let people take it away from me. Regardless of what party you're from, it's about making change. Dalek. Being influenced as a child of a Vietnam veteran and a daughter of a you know human rights advocate, my first thing was being a vocalist gave you a freedom of speech and it gave you an expression to highlight that freedom of speech. So why not sing and pass a message as well? And I feel that's where my strength is. You know, I'm not just a vocalist, I'm not just a rapper, but I have a passion towards what my music is dedicated to. And it's towards helping the community that has been believing in me, the community that serves me, the community that I serve. Maria Issa gets up on stage and exudes this amazing confidence with her audience and she's so much in contrast to a lot of the things that you see happening in local music because she is that confident, because she is not afraid of being a woman and she's the one that's totally in charge. I think Maria Issa has really set herself apart by writing these amazing songs, by combining all these different elements, by you know, showing so much pride in her Puerto Rican heritage and combining it with her love of the Midwest and just making this really unique identity for herself. I look at being a, a vocalist and an MC as being a message carrier. So if you want to have the ability to be a message car carrier, you need to talk about the things that are influential, you need to also bring up, you know, topics that aren't being discussed that are positive and that can bring balance to a negative situation. Um, and I feel that it's a privilege to be able to be kind of, a, yes, an artist, but a politician at the same way. is the traditional folkloric music of Puerto Rico, influenced by the enslaved Africans in Puerto Rico, the indigenous people, the Tainos, and the European settlers. Um, bomba is played through the bomba drum. It's a rum barrel, and these were barrels that were dumped off from the ocean, the sea, picked up, and in order to be capable of staying alive in, in, in a time where, you know, there was a lot of pain and sorrow, but also capture the good moments, it succeeds through the music and it's passed down generations to generations. And uh, I like to say that my story, everyone's story starts in a circle and that's ahead of a drum. So regardless what culture you come from, um, everyone has their, their, their beat. And that influences a lot within the hip hop culture. Um, it, it, hip hop was you know, formed within a diverse community that were struggling within the system and, and, and issues that were happening through government and control. And uh, what makes you happy is 
bring the music out? How can me and you sit in this room together and actually not worry about what's going on in our lives? And that influence comes back, it, it, you know, it's, a re it's repetitive through history. My grandparents' upbringing was just as similar to mine with hip hop. Instead of bringing out drums, we were bringing out, you know, turntables and do, making mixtapes. And it's a universal language through the drum.